My Waigilo looks dead, six possible reasons. Waigilas are an attractive choice for your yard. Their majestic foliage and flowers make them a stunning sight. They attract hummingbirds and butterflies and look spectacular in containers, making them ideal for your home garden. Waigila thrives in moderately acidic to slightly alkaline soil. The soil should be moist but well-draining. Waterlogged soil can choke the roots and cause the Waigila to look dead. Waigila is generally pest and disease-free, but you might face a few common problems with the Waigila plant. Possible reasons why the Waigila looks dead. If your Waigila looks dead, there are several reasons for this problem. It could be weather, watering, pruning, twig blight, mealybug infestation, or even aphids. Waigilas are hardy, so they can tolerate unfavorable temperatures. Let's look at these problems one by one. 1. Weather and watering. Weather and watering are two main reasons for a Waigila's decline. The best way to prevent Waigilas from looking dead is to give them the right amount of sunlight. Waigila requires moderate watering. During summers, there should be adequate watering. After the plant has grown, it can be sprayed with a rooting stimulant to stimulate new growth. It helps clear off the dust leaves and increases humidity in the air. If you're concerned about watering, you can check the moisture content of the soil. To improve the quality of your soil, you can add compost to improve drainage. Overwatering is as harmful as keeping the plant dry. It is important to keep the soil wet only about an inch below the surface. Too much moisture can cause fungal diseases and root rot. 2. Aphids In addition to water and weather problems, the Waigila is affected by aphids. These tiny, translucent insects burrow into the roots and slowly damage the root system. They lead to growth stunting and sap the plant's vigor. If you see these insects, you can swab the affected leaves with rubbing alcohol. Ladybugs and wasps are natural predators of aphids and can control this problem. 3. Botrytis This plant might be affected by a fungal disease called gray mold. Botrytis cinerea's pathogen attacks the stems and gradually kills the plant root. The affected Waigila loses leaves, turns yellow, and curls inward. To cure this problem, you can cut off infected leaves and spray them with an alcohol-based disinfectant. If you cannot remove the affected parts, you can use household disinfectants like bleach and water. 4. Pruning the Waigila Cold temperatures and frost damage cause the Waigila to look dead. However, it is possible to bring it back to life after pruning. Pruning a Waigila can keep it small and beautiful depending on the climate zone. If pruning is not done correctly, it could permanently damage the plant. Waigilas are highly adaptable plants that thrive in all climates. However, you may need to adjust its care in a harsh environment. The ideal planting is in the summer. Waigila pruning should be done annually in spring. When pruning the Waigila, it is important to cut back the dead branches before the plants begin to flower. 5. Twig Blight If you notice that Waigila looks unhealthy and has no flowers, the problem could be twig blight. It is commonly found on flower petals and causes brown, dried out leaves. Removing the affected plants is effective when symptoms first appear. Moreover, aeration helps keep the soil healthy. In addition to removing the affected plants, you can apply copper or lime sulfur-based fungicides to combat the fungus. These should be used for the plant's twigs and stems during rain. 6. Mealybug Infestation Waigila is a common target for the Comstock mealybug. These soft-bodied insects cling to plant leaves in clusters. As they feed on plant sap, mealybugs weaken the plant. If you've noticed your Waigila plant has a severe mealybug infestation, the first step in containing the problem is to get rid of the affected plants. 
A mealybug infestation is usually easy to identify by its distinctive appearance. The yellowish-green insect body and black wings are telltale signs. Using a mealybug spray like Prothor is most effective at the earliest signs of infection. Using this method helps eliminate the mealybugs from the Wygela. Spraying horticultural oil on Wygela trees and shrubs in late winter helps control mealybug populations. You can cut the affected plants and prune out the damaged portions if you're not a gardener. Conclusion Wygela plants are popular in gardens and parks. Not only are they beautiful to look at, but they also add a majestic touch to their surroundings. Wygelas are generally low maintenance and easy to care for. However, they are susceptible to a few problems, such as twig blight, mealybug infestation, and root rot. Following the tips in this article will help you keep your Wygela healthy and thriving. <laughs>